Hey, old bonnet. Flying your own flag at last. Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good borrow to you. complete disinterest in your well-being. Hostages for sense. These were my only terms. Yeah. Six days of pure fucking sight. So I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. By Christ! This is my predicament. To kill you, or to press you into my servant. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, he says. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? Aye, and in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. Crimson, catch the wind. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet someone out there has prepared the medicine. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. Thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. Thanks. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
There was an accident. Private Simon! This, this crocodile! I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives. Near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Ah, uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank you? We should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead, huh? I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain. Another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. He's waiting for us. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then, 
we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> sorry. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right... Hi, Melanie, I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correct. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level 2 security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control station first. I'll update your communicator. Oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works. Hmm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Letitia, rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. And thank you. The both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Tabarnak! It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? We do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. Assassin, Templars, crazy talk. I'm curious about this shareholders meeting, though. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you! <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life. So, do as I say. Now, step over to the window. You can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did you know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. All right. Either you walk through that door, or throw yourself off the tower. Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Make it snap. Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send it back home.
You sneaky bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. As gullible as ever. Now hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Did you uh, like the allonge? I practiced. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh, come on. It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there! I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Bonjour. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. Salut! I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. 